16th Amendment ended slavery in the U.S. It left open a window for people who still wanted to profit off free labor. And that window is the U.S. prison system. It's now the focus of the new documentary that got a standing ovation at the press screening for the New York Film Festival. Entertainment reporter Sandy Kenyon is here now with his review. Sandy? Quite a moment, Diana. As you mentioned, the title refers to the 13th Amendment to the Constitution, which abolished slavery. Turns out what was supposed to open a new chapter in American history after the Civil War led instead to widespread racism that continues to the present day. We now have more African Americans under criminal supervision than all the slaves back in the 1850s. The movie called 13th looks at a judicial system that puts far more blacks than whites behind bars. Khalif Browder was walking home from a party when he was stopped by police. He was then imprisoned at Rikers for three years without a trial. I never went home. His case was dismissed. Browder later committed suicide. These are souls, these are spirits, and his was broken by that process. And so I know that's a story that uh, New Yorkers hold dear, and uh, we were happy to amplify it in the film. Director Ava DuVernay looked at the history of the civil rights movement in her drama Selma but offers an even broader view in her new documentary. The hope is that it gives context to Black Lives Matter for folks that don't really truly understand what that means. Don't believe the it's basically the history of racism and forward-thinking people um, should be interested in interrogating that and getting underneath it so that we can solve it. It's a problem. A big problem with plenty of blame to go around. Three strikes and you are out. It was an enormous burden on the black community, but it also violated a sense of core fairness. Voices from the right and the left make the account more credible and powerful. One reason why 13th was chosen to kick off the New York Film Festival, where it premiered to a standing ovation. We weren't just clapping, we were shouting against racism. We were clapping for a new democracy. That's Malkiel Cyril was just one of the community activists heard in the film, which is the only movie I have ever sat here and called absolutely essential here at Eyewitness News. To cover the history of racism in America in under two hours is a formidable task, but Ava DuVernay has given us a film so meaningful and so engaging, I'll be thinking about it for the rest of my life. Dave and Diana. And you said this is a real think piece, essentially, that you really want to see and just kind of literally think and process it afterwards. It begins after the Civil War and concludes with the current presidential race. Could not be more timely. No yeah. way. Yeah. Exactly. A lot to take in, I'm sure. And it's not homework. If you watch it, it'll change your life as it changed mine. Well, okay. Can't wait to see it. Can't wait. Yeah. Well, Sean.